we are doing function values. And what I want to do is I want to evaluate each function at the number given. So for each question, I'm going to be given a function. And what I want to do is I want to evaluate each function at the number they give me. So for the first question, they give me f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 3. And they ask me to find f of negative 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace x with a negative 4 and see what happens. So for this one, I get f of negative 4. f of negative 4 is equal to the square root. Now I have x right here, and I need to replace x with a negative 4. So I'm taking the square root of negative 4, and then I'm subtracting 3 at the end. So I'm going to bring down the minus 3. Now, since the square root function is only defined for numbers that are greater than or equal to 0, the square root of negative 4 is not going to give me a real number. So this is going to be undefined. This one is going to be undefined because I can't take the square root of a negative number right here and expect to get a real number out of that. So that one is going to be undefined. So we can also say that the function f of x is undefined at negative 4. All right, let's move on to number 2. And number 2 gives me g of x is equal to 1 over x. Remember that 1 over x is the reciprocal function. So when I want to evaluate the reciprocal function, I know that x is always going to be in the denominator. x is always going to be in the bottom of the fraction. So this one is asking me to find g of 0. So it's asking me to replace this x with a 0. So when I do that, I get g of 0 is equal to 1 over 0. So I replace the x in the denominator with a 0. Immediately, I see that I'm dividing by 0. Since I'm dividing 1 by 0, there's a 0 in the denominator. Since you can't divide by 0, this is also undefined. This is also undefined. So you could say function g is undefined at 0. But for any other real number, g will actually be defined. It's just that since you're evaluating at 0, this function is going to be undefined at 0. And then lastly, we have number 3, the logarithm function. h of x is equal to log base 2 of x. And it's asking me to find h of 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace every single variable x with a 0. So I get h of 0 is equal to log base 2 of 0. But since the logarithm function is only defined for numbers that are greater than 0, this is also going to be undefined. So these are just three examples that show you that you can often get undefined for your answer, especially when you have a function that's not defined at certain domain values. So that's function values. Be on the lookout for functions that are undefined, and I hope this helps.